Okay, here's the underground castle, and um, <clears throat> it's coming along pretty nicely. I got a lot more work to do on it, and uh, I don't like the wall. I'm going to redo the wall, but the castle itself is pretty good, and I've got the lights in place. Take a look there. There we go. And I like I have a light in the back, a red light in the back that gives some nice illumination inside the cave. And a light inside the tower which comes through the windows really nicely. <clears throat> right, let's take a look at this in, uh, with less light and see how it looks. I don't know if you can see that. I'm adjusting the voltage on those lights. But that's the underground castle. In the previous installment I did the basic painting of the diorama. And now, now in this installment what I've done is I've done a lot of uh, more detailed painting and uh, you can see that um, it's starting to take shape in the rocks and the, the earth starting to look more earth-like and you can see I've got the, the various structures here starting to take really nice shape and a couple of techniques that I used to do that is washing uh, a technique called washing and a technique called dry brushing and uh, <clears throat> washing is simply using very wet dark color like black or even an in, in ink and washing over uh, over your terrain so the ink settles into the cracks and it looks really good and then you you kind of wash it and it washes away from the high spots and falls into the cracks and our dry brushing is where you use very small amounts of very dry paint and you just sort of like dab them onto the high spots or you brush them on and it just causes little um, highlights so I've done a lot of that and I have more about that on my website um, in, in this tutorial and in my painting miniatures tutorial but what I wanted to show you here is I'm starting to build out the structures now the major structures inside the inside the dior uh, diorama and, it, and one of them is the castle here you can see what I've done is I built myself a foam structure that I'm going to put in that and this will actually be filled with water here this will have water. I'm going to pour and harden water in that. But I'm starting to build out my shape for my structure here, and I've gone through a lot of different iterations to uh, get the castle looking kind of like what I want it to look like. If you're going to do something like that, experiment with it. Try different shapes and different sizes and different compositions. I moved those tubes around, tried all different shapes until I got something I was pretty happy with. I wanted the castle nestled right in there, and that's what it is. So, next I am going to paint that up. I'm going to use a couple of different techniques. I'm going to use actually paper that I've purchased some fine papers with designs on it and whatnot, and I'll show you how that looks as it's a nearing completion. Okay, I wanted to show you, uh, before I actually finish making the uh, underground castle here, I wanted to show you that I wired it up. Um, I built it as an individual unit, put it all together, wired it up all together, and I can install it right into the diorama, and let me show you what I've got here. So now I'm just testing it to see if it's the way I like it, and there you go, it looks pretty good. You can see that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm liking it. It's, uh, this crack on the bottom here, well, that'll be fixed. But, uh, coming out pretty good. I'm liking the way the light is. There's a red light in the back and some lights in the foreground, and I like the window lights. So, here, we'll take a look at that. So, there's the back of it. You can see how I wired it all in. So now I'm ready to, these, these connections will actually go to the connections I have wired into the diorama. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect it and I'll finish the castle and then I'll be able to wire it and install it right in in one step. Okay, I've got most of that castle in. I've still got more work to do on it, but you get the general idea. Use cardboard, um, <coughs> paint, different types of, different sizes of uh, paper, card stock, all kinds of stuff. And you can see I used um, some some decorated paper here with different ornaments on it. I cut strips of that and put that in the castle. And let's take a look see what it looks like here. Turn the power on. Here we go and I've got it uh, so it's adjustable there. The light's adjustable. I like the little lights inside the windows here. Kind of nice. And there's a red light in the back. I don't know if you can see that. The red light in the back really gives it some nice illumination. So yeah, let me turn the Let you see that. So it's going to look really nice. Mm. 
Okay, so that's it, but this is part seven of the tutorial. I got plenty more. We're going to be doing some wooden structures too. That was uh, the castle and cardboard, using cardboard and paper to do some of the uh, ornament. And uh, next, I'm going to probably be doing wood. I'm going to make bridges, I'm going to make uh, ladders, all kinds of stuff.